Hello, today I will review uh, the Banggood mini lathe um, which costs about $50, I'll put the link in the description so it came in two parts, the first part is the, this power adapter and uh, it's uh, uh, the bag said it's a laptop power adapter and you can change the voltage here between uh, 12 and 24 volts so I set it to 24 because the mini laser is set to be 24 volts and the odd thing is that it comes with a grounded and here it's a teapot a standard teapot uh, plug uh, with three holes in it and here are two but this end comes with only two so this is not really safe and I would replace the cord with uh, uh, just a uh, standard cord but I suspect that inside here the, th the ground doesn't connect to anything so uh, I did test it uh, the output here and it is 24 volts so at least we have that but let's see the main package and it comes uh, like this it's not wrapped in any other way so let's see what we have inside okay so first thing is uh, I got the more expensive version and it comes with a six piece uh, wood crafting set so of course we don't have what to do with this Let's see what else okay so that's about it and so we have a bag of other tools, let's see what's in here so in the bag we have uh, drilling cups I guess three sizes of drilling cups again nothing really to do with this uh, this is a a holder for soft uh, for soft uh, pads uh, or discs so if for example you have a polishing uh, disc then you can uh, screw it on here and this holds the discs and three of these rods of various sizes not sure what they do but it seems that the middle one I think it's either 2 or 2.5 they are, this one is 2 millimeters and the larger one is about 2.5 and so I'm not sure what they are next we have the Uh, drill, uh, I don't know how it's called in English, but uh, it's the thing that screws the the drill head uh, pretty standard Okay. So this I think it just protects 
the plastic parts don't really have to remove them but I'll remove them anyway I hate so I can probably unscrew uh, these lids but we don't care about that okay so it, it's it's fully assembled and uh, let's see if the head says so it says 0.6 to 6 millimeters so I think the maximum pin size is 4 millimeters for uh, multi locks so we're this is going to be enough okay so I'm going to uh, stop the video plug it in and see how it works so I ran out of battery so this is uh, the next day and actually yesterday I ran it uh, for a while just to make sure it doesn't explode and I removed the uh, the paper uh, stickers that were on here and um, I removed uh, these little bits that uh, were inside the, the holes here because it seems that during the manufacturing process they didn't remove them so let's go over what we have here so first we have two plastic covers and I'm not really sure what they are used for maybe this one is to protect the drill not sure what this is for and both of them sit on uh, on four uh, screws you can see uh, you can see the screws here so there are two on each side and if you loosen the screws they uh, slide on this track and even you can remove uh, this plastic cover entirely so I, I suspect this is just to protect the drill from something so it has a little guard here and uh, the guard uh, as you can see sits on uh, the same type of screw so if I loosen the screw here uh, I can probably move uh, I can move the guard back and forth and um, the drill itself it's also it's screwed in uh, screwed in with these two screws and there are two other screws on the other end and I'm not sure that this can be moved I think it's, it is bolted down to this uh, uh, generic uh, track here and I'm saying generic because it can, I saw the same track on other products from Banggood and uh, on the other side uh, there's a uh, uh, I don't know how it's called, it's like a holder uh, that uh, aligned with the drill bit and this entire part can be moved by unscrewing uh, the two screws behind and then you can move it on the track backwards and forwards with the same mechanism as these two screws uh, so this bit uh, does come out and it's it's very very sharp at the end it's almost like a needle I don't know if you can see it but it's very sharp and it seems that it rotates within a ball bearing mechanism uh, in here so this is pretty good quality I was uh, surprised about the quality of this and uh, I ran it and uh, there is really no play on, on, the, uh, on the head here uh, for example on my large drill uh, there is there is a few millimeters of play going backwards uh, right to left so the drill the drill head wobbles but here it is connected directly into the axis of the engine so there is no play at all so I suspect that at least in the first 
few miles of this it will be pretty accurate so another benefit here is uh, as you can see uh, so I have this this for the Dremel tool and when you set this to a pin size of 2.9 millimeters the holders uh, go in inside inside the the head the the, little, the three little holders go inside and you lose some space between the holders and the edge of the of the drill head but this uh, won't happen here because I think it won't happen here um, because as you can see the it, the uh, the holders are protruding from the drill bit let's open it up until the, almost the very end uh, let's see okay, I have, uh, maybe I have a victim here Okay, so let's take him. Okay, so um, let's try and hope that you can see. So I put a pin in here, and I think I'm supposed to uh, close. This, uh, you can see it wobbles right to left. So, maybe if I, when I tightened it, Okay, so I have it uh, set up now. Let's try to turn it on, but first I'll put my goggles. Because you can never know what will come flying out. So goggles are on. And as you can see uh, here, it is pretty noisy. But let's try to make. Uh, I'll, I'll stop the video and uh, change the angle of the camera. I'll stop the video, change the angle of the camera, and we'll make a spool out of this pin. Okay, so I did a, another take with the previous pin, but it was a steel pin and uh, it did work but the results were not nice so I'm trying now with this uh, brass pin uh, so let's try to make a spool out of him Okay, 
so as you can see uh, this is a spool and the sharp bit uh, drilled a bit a uh, little bit into the pin uh, but it, it's not too bad and the result is not too bad uh, came out a bit mushroomy but that's okay a uh, really sharp edge there so my conclusion so this is uh, really inconvenient that it moves in in this uh, in this direction that it turns because it was supposed to move only uh, backwards and forwards and it's already scraped a bit from here um, so what's my conclusion first of all it's definitely powerful enough not spins as fast as the Dremel 2 is it better than the Dremel 2 actually I'm not sure um, I would say that they're about the same or probably the Dremel tool is even more convenient than this um, because it spins faster and the, the cutting is faster um, I guess I have to use it a bit more to be sure I don't have a Dremel tool holder so when I want to use a Dremel tool I put it vertically on in my vise and so if you have a Dremel tool and you're satisfied with it I don't think I would buy this uh, if you need uh, uh, to do something which is more of uh, convenient with the lathe then this definitely is a good product and well worth the money I spent on it so thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions please put them in the comments and I will happily test anything you want on this lathe. Good night.